Now here's how to fix a very high ping in Roblox, moving from the thousands all the way to the hundreds or even single digits. Now I have one of the most special formulas or the most effective formulas above all the others so do not skip through this video so that you do not miss it. Now I'll be doing a giveaway for this video. If you guys are interested in earning some Robux, just go ahead and smash the like, subscribe and bell button. Once you're done with that, just go down and comment Robux in the comment section. Thirdly, you want to go to the description box, click on my Discord. Once you're in my Discord, you would see that there's a giveaway tab just go ahead and react with the emoji and once you're done with that you should be rest assured that you are part of the giveaway now this giveaway will be ending pretty soon so do not miss your chance now i just logged onto roblox and here is what my ping looks like now tag along and let's get this to the least it can be now go ahead and click the link down in the description to get to my website once on my website go ahead and look for the gear up booster tab once you found that go ahead and copy the link right under that hit c tier c open a new tab hit c tier v and hit enter right away now once you load onto the website the first thing you're going to see is that it says make roblox smoother now you want to go ahead and click on the play with gear booster at the bottom and then wait for it to finish downloading at the top right hand side great now once it's done downloading just go ahead and click on it and wait for the installation box to show up now go ahead and click on continue for english and then you can go ahead and click on install you can choose to start it on run up that's your own preference but then we do not need that great now as you can see it's already given me a list of games that i have on my computer that i could go ahead and boost immediately but i'm going to go ahead and click on the home page and then i'm going to go ahead and click on search and boost now we want to go ahead and type in roblox because that is what we're trying to get and then i'm going to click on roblox right away now it says to log in so just go ahead and log in with either your google account your microsoft account or any account that you might have now since i have already played this before i play roblox a lot i can just go ahead and click on the boost here and then it's going to start boosting it right away now it shouldn't take that much time so just go ahead and hang in there and wait for it to finish up great now once the booster starts and it gives you a timer i'd recommend that you leave it on auto server and auto node because that might be the best for anyone unless you know your very region or your very situation now just go ahead and click on launch game and wait for roblox to launch up great now once roblox loads up the most important thing you need to realize is that you need to launch it before you get into a roblox game else it's not going to be working effective now i'm going to go ahead and click on chats i think i really enjoyed this game i'm going to click on the driving empire game it's really realistic and it's it's best for anyone that really likes driving now as you can see here i'm averaging about 170 to about 165 and this is far better than what i've been getting now look at it it's even going to 154 and 158 now the first thing i need you guys to do is go ahead and hit c tier plus shift and plus escape and that should load up your task manager pretty quickly now once this is loaded up i need you to go ahead and click on networks and make sure that the network arrow is showing downwards now once it's showing downwards you're going to see the apps that are using your internet and might be slowing roblox down for you so you can go ahead and close out of something like microsoft edge or end this task and then it should be pretty good for you now go ahead and click the windows button at the left hand side once you've clicked on that go ahead and type in firewall and then go ahead and select the one that says windows defend the firewall with advanced security great now once this loads up you want to go ahead and look at the left top hand side which says inbound rules now click on that and then once this loads up you want to go to the right hand side and click on new rule now once this loads up go ahead and click on ports and then go ahead and click on protocol and ports now once you've clicked on that we can go ahead and click on udp and then we are going to type a specific number here now this is from the original roblox site and it is best recommended everyone uses the same number so go ahead and type in 491 then type in 52 with a hyphen make sure there are no spaces between that hyphen and then go ahead and type in 655 and then 35 ensure there are no spaces in between these two and then go ahead and click on next now once you click on next we want to allow the connection so we can just go ahead and click on next again make sure all these three are checked and click on next again and then we want to go ahead and name this whatever we feel comfortable with so i'll make this roblox video and then i'll just click on finish now once you're done with that you can safely go ahead and exit out of this flow. now go ahead and click on your windows button again and then go ahead and type in control panel and hit enter right away now once this loads up go ahead and click on the network and internet once we've clicked on this go ahead and click the view network status and task right under the network sharing right under that click on that and wait for it to load now you want to go ahead and click on the change adapter settings at the left hand side and then once we've clicked on that you want to go ahead and select the internet you're using now i am using an ethernet cable for best performance so go ahead and click on the ethernet 2. now if you're using a wi-fi or you're using your mobile hotspot just go ahead and choose your wi-fi however once you've logged into this or you've clicked on that go ahead and click on properties 
and then once you click on properties you want to go ahead and look for ipv4 or internet protocol version 4 and double click on that now once we've double clicked on that you want to go ahead and click on the use the following dns server addresses now the first one we'll be using for the top side is one 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 now make sure that you don't type all the ones in one place i intentionally made that mistake so that you guys would see it here make sure you type each one in a different dot space or dotted space and then go ahead and do the bottom side as eight go to the other side hit eight again go to the next side do eight and then the next side do eight and then go ahead and click on okay now once you're done click ok here again and then just go ahead and close out of that now for this next step you want to go ahead and hit your windows key and then you want to go ahead and type in cmd now once cmd pops up go ahead and click on run as administrator so i'm going to click on that right now and then i'm going to wait for it to load up. now once it loads up you want to go ahead and type the special code type in ip config space and the forward slash and then type in flash dns and hit enter right away now it says successfully flush the dns cache and this is really good news for us now go ahead and pause this once you've unpaused this go ahead and click on the windows button once you've clicked on the windows button go ahead and click on settings now once you've clicked on settings just go ahead and click on windows update and then wait for that to load now once in windows update click on advanced options and then once you've clicked on advanced options the most important thing is to look for delivery optimization and click on that right away now once we've clicked on this we want to go ahead and click on the advanced options at the bottom here now once we are in the advanced options we want to go ahead and click on the percentage of measured bandwidth click on that and then go ahead and check all these boxes every box here all the four boxes under that and then make sure to pull everything down to the lowest five percent five percent five percent and then here will be five gig monthly updates limits now just before you close out of this i need you guys to go back to the delivery optimization and then it says allow downloads from other computers or from other pcs you want to go ahead and turn this off we don't want to be sharing our data or giving out much of our stuff to other people on our local devices now some of you might have vpns turned on in the background that you might not even know you're using for example i might have a vpn that i've turned on here that i can tell that i'm using but others of you might have vpn that is in this top arrow or is hidden so go ahead and turn off every vpn that you might have because that is one sure way to get very high pain and then once you're done with that go ahead and check for any antiviruses that you may have and let's go ahead and disable them because they could also be hindering that very low ping performance that you might be searching for now the next thing i need you guys to do is go ahead and hit the windows key on your keyboard and hit r and then go ahead and type in gpedit.msc and hit enter right away now this should load you into this page go ahead and expand it so you can see everything clearly now i want you guys to go ahead and search for the administrative template right under computer configurations now go ahead and expand this and then go ahead and click on network now once we've clicked on network we should see a new set of folders that show up now once this show up you want to go ahead and click on the qos packet scheduler double click on that and then go ahead and look for limit reservable bandwidth go ahead and double click on that as well now the most important thing you want to do here is go ahead and disable this or just click on disabled click on apply and then click on ok once we've done this we can now go ahead and log out of this very menu now you want to go to your browser and go ahead and type in block struck and hit enter right away now once i've hit enter you see that there's a github page that says pizza boxer with the slash block strap go ahead and click on that one now once you've clicked on this you want to just go down a little bit and look at releases at the right hand bottom right hand side and then just go ahead and click on block strap with the latest there now once we've clicked on this we want to go ahead and scroll to the bottom and then we want to go ahead and click on block strap dot exe here and then wait for that to finish download now i'm going to put this in my downloads and just click on save wait now once this is done we want to go ahead and double click on that and then just wait for it to finish installing now you see system default we want to just go ahead and click on ok it's basically english and then once this loads up we want to go ahead and click on fast flags scroll all the way to the bottom and then click on fast flags editor now once you've clicked on that we are going to be giving a warning however we do not really care about that because we know what we are doing here and we do not need your assistance in any way or shape or form so we want to just click on i know what i'm doing and then you want to go ahead and click on add now go ahead and click on the site i've clicked on my site now you're going to see that there's the ping enhancement code and there's the fps enhancement code now once you're done with the ping enhancement code you can go ahead and do for the fps enhancement code as well but i want to focus on ping because this video is about getting a better ping on roblox go ahead and copy the code 
go back to the add fast flag place and then go ahead and click on import json go ahead and hit ctrv and then this should be pasted go ahead and click on ok right away now this error message is pretty normal and it is supposed to happen so just go ahead and click on ok and then click on install right away now it's going to give you a menu but that does not really matter just go ahead and click on install again and that should be pretty damn installing roblox now you want to go ahead and type in chrome space web store and then hit space and then hit enter right away now once you load here just go ahead and click on the chrome web store and then you want to go ahead and search for raw gold now there's a paid version and there's an easy version or maybe the, the simple version or the free version just go ahead and click on the first one that is featured as well go ahead and click on add to chrome now go ahead and click on the add extension and here is the most important thing i'm going to tell you in this whole video now the most important thing when it comes to roblox will be to be launching the game from your browser now why did i ask you to launch it from your browser the reason why i asked you to launch it from your browser is so that you can go ahead let's use something like driving empire for an example is so that you can go ahead and click on service and then you can go ahead and scroll down now this is going to show you how many people are within a server and then how much ping that server is really going to give you when you join and so this is one of the best factors or the crucial thing is that you can go ahead and learn from this video that if you join a server that is about 250 feet ping there is nothing you can do about getting a better ping this is just crucial stats and you must pay attention to them i recommend you guys go to speedtest.net to check your internet speed because in spite of you doing every single thing in this video if you have slow internet connection this is still going to get you some lag now the most important thing when it comes to lag is to check your internet service provider sometimes changing from one provider to the other that is going to solve the problem the second tip here too is to get an ethernet cable ethernet cables are much faster and they're also much stable and the last tip on this list is to make sure that you've not connected any other devices to the same network that is drawing and dragging so much internet that is preventing you from getting the optimum or the optimized ping that you want if you're interested in making some extra income using your chromebook here is honeygain it allows you to share your internet and in return you get money now if you sign up with my link down in the description or on my website you get a three dollar gift to begin with now if you want a tutorial on how to get this working on your chromebook because it's an apk check the description for the video or check the link up top